Ahoy there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another game review. It's today I'm very excited to check out Jukum Soccer from the Haywire Group. This is for two players, take about 20 to 30 minutes to play, and it's for ages 8 plus. And Jukum Soccer is another game in the popular Jukum Sports Series. This time you're going to be playing soccer. You and your opponent are going to be setting up plays and trying to shoot goals, but it won't be that easy because there will be red cards that you'll be playing down that will do bad things on your opponent's turns and also of course your opponent has a goalie who will be trying to block your kicks what am i talking about let's open it up and i'll tell you what i think all right then we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of jukum soccer so first and foremost we have a handy dandy rule booklet it's one really long page double-sided full color full of pictures illustrations examples should have you up and running pretty smoothly pretty well done rule booklet so in Jukum Soccer, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be taking this deck of cards and you are going to be trying to setting up shots so you can score on your opponents. You're going to set up shots on your opponent by running plays. Uh, so for instance, to pull off this shot, you would have to run three plays. Plays look like this. They'll generally say pass or header. I think there's a, another one that's mixed in there. But for the most part, they're going to say pass or header. So let's just say I had these three cards down here. This means on my next turn, I would be able to take a shot. So I'm saying I'm taking a shot right now. I'd put that down. My opponent, if they have it, would also then play a save card as they try to block it. We flip it over. We compare. And bada boom, I would have blocked this shot because those three X's would cancel out these three soccer balls. Uh, which means, boom, boom. I don't score, all these cards go into the discard pile. Uh, also in the deck, you're going to have pass cards, header cards, which will set up plays. You'll have shot cards, save cards. But there's also these red cards, right? Uh, red and yellow cards, right here, which will do some various different things. So for instance, this is a block tackle, remove opponent's possession. So this is something you can play on defense. Uh, remove opponent's last play, play only against a flap card. So this is a yellow card. It will cancel out a flop card, which is similar to a pass or a header. It's kind of a more high risk pass or header. So let's show you exactly how the game works. When you first start the game, each player is going to be dealt five cards. And on your turn, you have really two options. You're either going to play a card, or potentially more cards, uh, if the cards will let you, and then you're going to draw back up to five. Or, if you don't have anything to play, you can discard a card, then you can uh, draw a card, and then if you can play that card, you can play the card. And if not, you're done for that turn. So let's see. I'm going to play this header, which says I get to take another turn. And then I get to play this pass, so this card counts as a play. Both these count as a play, and that would be my entire turn. So now that my turn's over, I draw back up to five cards, and bada boom, my opponent would now go. So let's see what my opponent has in their hand. Uh, not the best starting hand right there, but so they have a play. Boom, they would play this pass card, and then they would draw back up to five. Now... On my turn, I could have, if I wanted to, removed my opponent's possession by playing this offside, but really at this point, it's not in my best interest. I would probably want to save it until later. So let's go ahead and do this. Uh, I'll play a flop, and I'm hoping that he doesn't have a yellow card. He doesn't, which I now know, which is good. And then I would draw back up to five. Now he would go, he would most likely play a pass. If he has a pass, he does not have a pass. So what he's going to have to do is discard a card. So he would probably discard... This five shot one, draw a card. This is called making a substitution, and hooray, he can actually play this. So, boom, he play that, draw back up to five cards, and now it's on to me. I would probably take this shot. i say, I'm taking a shot right now. He'd say, ooh, which one of my saves do I want to play? Uh, this one's better than this one, but yeah, I'll go ahead and play the weaker one. And we would reveal, and just like that, boom, he would block my shot, which means all these cards would now get discarded, and we would continue on on our merry way. You're going to continue to do this until you've ran through this deck twice to symbolize uh, the two hats of soccer. Whoever has the most goals at the end will be the winner of Jukum Soccer, and that, in a nutshell, is how the game's played. Alrighty then, Jukum Soccer from the Haywire Group. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the con side, game's not going to be for everybody for a variety of different reasons. Two players are obviously a very restricted player count. Also, the game is a very simple light game. This is definitely in the family weight category. I don't think this is a game you're probably going to play with grown-ups. Um, this is the kind of thing where you play with like a 7, 8, 9, 10-year-old for the most part. Just because of how simplistic the game is. On your turn... 
there's not really many choices you can make. It's like you look at the five cards in your hand, you probably can only play maybe one or two of those cards, and the choices you make aren't going to be huge choices. It's like, oh, which shot on goal do I take? Which save card do I play? So if you're hoping for more meat on the bones, this is probably not going to be one for you. Also, um, you know, of the three Jukum games that are viewed, Jukum soccer, Jukum basketball, Jukum football, I would say this is probably my least favorite. Now take that with a grain of salt because I absolutely loathe soccer as a sport, both watching and playing it to a certain degree because of some bad childhood experiences. But uh, this game by itself, I feel like Jukum football is a better game. It actually makes more sense. And I forgot to mention in the middle part, but this game also has a Jukum card on it, which for some reason when you kick, uh, kick, a, kick the ball with the Jukum card, it's unblockable, which just seems kind of dumb. I understand they have to have the Jukum card in there because it is called Jukum soccer, but really it worked with it worked with football. It worked absolutely atrociously when they then they shoehorned it into basketball. And this one makes slightly more sense, but still it feels like it's, over, it's an overpowered card. Like, if you get that card, it's like, oh, cool, I'm going to get a goal, guaranteed. And getting goals in this game is not exactly the easiest thing. It does kind of recreate soccer in that aspect as well. Any other cons I have with the game? No, not really. Moving on to the pros, this is a perfectly inoffensive game. If you have kids who like soccer, who are, I'd say, 7 to 10 years old, then yeah, they are probably going to enjoy this game. They'll get a kick out of it, passing and doing headers, and playing the red cards on you. And it's a serviceable family game. Is it one I'm ever going to play again? No. But does that make it a bad game? No. I, I still personally think Juke of Football is a better game. But if your kids like Juke, if they like soccer, then, I mean, this is not a bad game to check out. It, uh, it is a game, it's easy to learn, it's easy to teach, I like, I like the packaging, it's got the little magnetic clasp on it, it holds the cards pretty well, uh, the artwork's pretty well done, it pops a little bit, everything is pretty straightforward and easy to understand, even though some of the rules just feel weird, like the Jukum rule, the yellow card, they're very situational rules, but other than that, Jukum soccer, it's pretty simple, if your kids like soccer, and you, they play two-player games with you. This is not a bad game to check out. For everybody else, though, this is an easy pass, though. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me know. Soccer, yay or nay? Hard nay. Like capital N, capital A, capital Y, capital exclamation points. I don't know how to capital exclamation points, but for soccer, I will make an exception and capitalize an exclamation point. But let me know in the comments below. Do you like soccer? And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.